In this next video, we are going to take a look at some material volumes based on the sections that we have created, and also a couple different ways of calculating your volumes. So before we get started, we, we absolutely need these sections before we can do a material table and a material takeoff. So under the sections dropdown, I need to run the command compute materials. I'm selecting my alignment, I'm selecting my sample line group, and I'm going to hit OK. In the dialog box that pops up, I'm going to select my quantity criteria takeoff, and I just have a work in progress one here, and I'm going to take a look at the options. So inside of this quantity takeoff, I have things set up for ground removed, which is cut, gra uh, ground fill, which is fill, my EG above, datum below, and then I've only got one pavement structure. However, you might have more than one pavement structure. So uh, when we go to set these up in a different window, this is only going to bring it in. Oh, pavement two, sorry. We can add it in here. So I'm going to select pavement one. I'm going to select pavement two and add it in. I'm going to select my base, add it in, and I'm going to specify my sub base and add it in. The reason I only add pavement one is because when, it, when we go to do this in our project, we only include one bit of payment. It just makes it a little bit easier. We don't have to worry about all the various layers when you're extracting lines. So I'm gonna hit okay. And back to this window, I want just an average end area. And I'm gonna click here to set my surfaces. So exist EG, existing ground, datum will be 50th Avenue finalized road top. Pavement one will be pavement one. Pavement two will be two. Sub base will be that and base will be that. So. They're all named from the assembly. This reads off your assembly, so you can get the information from there. I'm gonna hit okay, and let Civil 3D compute the materials, and it should throw a whole bunch of hatch onto my sections itself where it calculates the cuts and fills. Now, I think I forgot to set up the styles. So under sections, compute materials, we should be able to come into the material list and edit the styles themselves. So ground removed, I want EDDT cut. Ground, oops, sorry, ground fill, I want EDDT fill. And we'll hit okay. And it should change these to a blue hatch and a red hatch. So that just shows the cut and fills. So now that the materials are done, we can do a couple different things here. We can create a mass hall diagram which shows us the running total of dirt along our entire project. And we'll just do that quickly. Highway, sample line group, we'll go mass hall highway. And I want it to read right to left or left to right. So we're gonna go left to right for this because that's the way our profile is set up. We're gonna hit next, material list. We want a total volume. Choose our styles, name it if you want. If we have any balancing options, we can add borrow pits or dump sites, free haul distances. I'm gonna create a diagram. And I'm gonna place it off to the right here. So along the entire length of the project, what this diagram tells me is that we start needing dirt. We're, our line is going down, so we need dirt, we need dirt, we need dirt. We're not stockpiling any dirt. And by the time we get to the end of the project, we actually have a balance needed of 260,000 cubic meters. So I can move this, and I tend to move this below my profile itself, so I can see kind of where things are needing to be changed. If I take my profile now, and we see this line that's gone down to approximately minus 150,000. If I grab this and I lower it, but we'll say by about a meter, it should directly affect my mass hall diagram. My sample lines are gonna update, my sections are going to update. And as we see, this has changed a little bit and now we, are, we have a section where we're stockpiling dirt and then we're using it again when we get to this section. So when I said we'll have to come back and forth, between the uh, uh, profiles and look at our mass hall and change things around. You will be back and forth. You'll be editing your profile with these grips to try and balance your dirt volumes. Now, this mass hall diagram, if you just go into the mass hall view style and hit okay, it should update it. 
and move adjust the grid. Now, when we're looking at volumes, this is never a good idea is to have this much dirt needed at a specific spot or stockpile as much dirt. You want to keep this red line as close to this green line as possible. And you can do that by adjusting this profile and adding in new PVIs if you need and going from there. And like I said, all these do update as well. Another command we can use is under the sections drop down. We can add tables. We can do a total volume table. The alignment, the sample line group, using our material list, uh, maximum rows, we're gonna go 200 rows. We want it to tile across, dynamic, I'm gonna hit okay, and I'm gonna place that off to the right of my sections. So along every station, and it looks like I haven't set the section numbers up properly in this, but regardless, we have at station zero, we have an area of cut of 2.5, an area of fill of 1.86. However, zero volume, because that's the very beginning of our road. It's not until we move to the next station, 50, that we get some volume information. Now this only takes into account every section that we have. So 0, 50, 1, 152, 253. It interpolates between the sections. So it's gonna take zero, it's gonna take 50. Combine the two areas divided by two and times it out by the distance to get our cut volume. So not 100% accurate, it's only giving us numbers every 50 meters. If you wanted to know a more accurate volume, we can create a surface to tell us this. So I'm gonna create a new surface. I'm gonna call this cut, oh, not the surface layer, cut and fill for our highway. I'm gonna set my style to a cut and fill style. So it's gonna show me everything above and everything below. And I'm gonna change this to a tin volume surface. My base surface will be existing ground and my comparison surface will be, I'm just gonna use my finalized road top. However, keep in mind that we never calculate volumes to our finalized road top because we have asphalt volumes to worry about. And then we can have any cut factors or fill factors. So if your dirt, if your dirt expands when you dig it up and it compacts when you place it back down, we can include those. However, I'm just gonna click okay and let Civil 3D generate this new surface for me. And it should create a cut fill surface along the entire road, even including over here, which we don't want to include. However, I'm gonna go into the surface properties and take a look at the elevations. So this is where we can come in and type in the different colors. If we look under here, it's just an elevation analysis in the style. So under the analysis elevations, we can go and again, minus 10 to, we'll say minus five, minus five to zero, zero to 10. And you can come in here and type in whatever numbers you really want to give you more of an accurate readout. And if we hit okay, it updates. Now we don't want to include this in our volumes. So there's a couple ways that we can go ahead and do this. I can take my cut and fill surface and turn the triangles on. And if I select cut and fill highway definition, actually I can't delete triangles that way. So I have to do it a different way. My finalized road top. I can go into edit surface style, turn the triangles on, and under edits, I can delete lines. Alternatively, I could just put a boundary too, because this will actually get rid of the triangles over top of the bridge. However, we don't really need to include those. We might have a bridge surface that we can pull information off for the contractor. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete these and then I'll be right back. Okay, I've gone and deleted all those triangles now and my cut fill surface cuts off at where the bridge starts. 
So we're going to take a look at the report surface volume command. And before I do that, I'm going to zoom in on the end of this. So we, this table says we have a cumulative cut, cumulative fill, and net of cumulative cut of 473,000, a cumulative fill of 657,000 with a net of minus 184,000. So I'm going to run the command report surface volumes. I'm going to choose my existing ground and I'm going to compare it to my finalized row top. Let Civil 3D run the triangle comparison. So this says we have 473, where in reality this, this command compares every single triangle and where they cross. We actually have 470,000 cut, 657.95, 658.84, pretty close, with a net of 184,000 cuts. So we need 184,000 extra dirt in order to build this project, which more or less aligns with what we see here on the mass hall diagram. So that was a quick video on how to take your section views and create a couple different ways of viewing the volume analysis. We have a table, we have our mass hall diagram, we've used the report surface volume command, and even there's a surface utilities unless they've moved it, volumes dashboard command. So you, you need a cut fill surface for this, you could do this as well.